Hello, Luminary here, and we're going to test out using an external audio program to get all my audio in when I'm doing Let's Plays, so that way I can have decent sound quality and stuff. But we're going to do it on The Binding of Isaac. I picked up this game. I actually bought five copies of this game and handed them out. And uh, it's been fun. I went, just so you can see... I deleted everything that I've gotten. It wasn't very much to begin with, so I wouldn't worry about too much as far as um, what's going on. But um, I do have a little bit of experience with this game, but everything still takes me by surprise. And this game is very hard. The dungeons are procedurally generated, and it, it gets kind of interesting. So let's let's start it up, shall we? Let's see here. Of course, there's unlockable characters. And making two deals with a devil will give you this person, Eve. Alright. Let's see here. Let's go. It is pretty much like Zelda as a dual stick shoot shooter. And to do damage, you cry at the mobs. You blink and cry. So let's do some exploring. Oh, flies. We call the flies. Oh! That was dumb. Okay. Anyway, these flies tend to be a problem sometimes. There's a, an item out there called Halo of, uh, uh, Halo of Flies, I think. And, ooh, almost got hit there. Halo of Flies. And um, pretty much destroys those flies before they get to you. And uh, that nickel there, as you can see up here, that would be for buying stuff at the item shop. And there's all kinds of crazy stuff in this game dealing with... Uh, the items. I mean, you get stuff like coat hangers and blocks of meat and little things like pets and whatnot. It's it's really interesting. Um, also, also this is my first attempt. Oh, I need bombs to break this open. But this is my first attempt at commentary. I try to keep talking while I'm playing. I try to keep it fast paced. I try to keep it entertaining. Let's keep going. Oh, oh, I have those bodies hopping around. There we go. I'm gonna cry you to death. Come here. Anyway, these guys tend to be a problem. They come in several different flavors. I Mind you, I haven't beat this game yet at all. I mean, this game is extremely hard, and it's, it's sincerely unlockable-based, which is kind of interesting. Um, I have a dog in my room at the moment. His name is Nugget. So, if you hear the dog go off, just cheer for him. That's Mr. Nugget. He's one of my favorite dogs. These guys... Oh, oh troll bomb. Oh. Okay. Oh, here we go. What is this? Blood of the Martyr. Damage up. I'll take that. Crab blood. And just like Zelda, a lot of this is very Zelda-esque, too. You can put out flames, and there's little campfires everywhere. And you'll find discolored blocks, and there's hidden rooms and stuff. But I've got two bombs, no keys, five cents. Uh, oh, ah, that worked. Two hits killed that guy. Oh, can I get that guy? Oh my gosh, my aim is so off. You see how that fly over there is kind of discolored? That's a champion mob. We understand he drops stuff just about every time, I believe. I'm not exactly sure. We're going to find out. Die. Look at the size of that blood drop. Yep, he gave me a penny. And your pennies are useful. Whoa, that was dumb. Ooh, pills here. What do we got? Doesn't say. Well, let's use it right away. Bad guess. <laughs> All right, discolored. Let's see here. Go ahead and drop a bomb. Oh, nothing. Maybe I was just seeing stuff. Here's the bad part. I need a key. There hasn't been a key, and I need the key to go into. Oh wait, maybe I can't go in this room. Oh wait, that's where I got the. Jeez, I'm losing my mind. Okay, this is what I do. This is what happens when I do commentary at 3:13 in the morning. All right, onward to the first boss. Kill this pile of poop. I don't think I fought this guy before. Let's see. Whoa! As you can see, we're just running around. Fairly simple tactics. Of course, I'd say that and I get hit by a piece of uh, of blood. Whoa. 
This is kind of weird. I don't know if this is a Siamese twin type thing. I don't know. It's kind of disturbing. Let's see if we can kill this little guy first. Nope. Oh, can't take another hit. Oh, he's coming pretty fast. A half a heart left. Yeah, didn't make it. All right, see what I mean by how hard it can be? <laughs> Dear diary, today I died. I was killed by this thing in some basement. <laughs> Leave all that I own to my cat Guppy. Goodbye, cruel world, Isaac. What do you say we have another go before I call it good? I wanted to get a good 15 minutes in on this game, so we're going to make that happen. Ooh, uh. There we go. We're going to kill these crying guys real quick, see what happens. Maybe we'll get something neat as a as a room drop. There we go. It's amazing the power of tears. Anyway, the premise of this game apparently is that Mom is being influenced by some evangelic voice. And she was told to kill her son, where Isaac then locks himself in this basement. So he's traveling through the basement. You know, maybe I'll I'll record the intro sequence at some point, which should be rather interesting. These flies are just nuts. Luckily, I haven't taken a hit. Ah, the elusive key. I'll take a key. Um. Oh, these guys run at you. Oh, gotta beat these guys out. Oh wow! If I kill them, their head falls off. And then they got their disembodied, blood squirting neck. Ugh. Tis but a flesh wound, tis but a flesh wound. Okay, do that. And before we go opening any doors with keys, we're going to choose very wisely. I'd rather use the key on an item room than anything else. So let's go ahead and continue on. Oop, we have another bomb. I'll take that. No discolored rocks in this room. Let's see what's over in this room over here. Flies. Disembodied head that cries blood. Let's see here. And... Destroy this poop so that we have a free run. Not that I'm gonna use it. And here's chest. There we go. Pills here. What'd we get? Range down. Not what I wanted to see. What did that do for my tears? Well, it didn't look like it affected it too much. That's another thing. When you press escape, you can actually see where your range is and your, how much damage you're doing, how fast you shoot, and all kinds of crazy stuff. No! No, 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 no. Back. There we go. Alright, let's continue exploring before we go in that room. Maybe we'll get some extra keys. Got a room full of poop. And a penny. And there is apparently secret rooms, and they're kind of, they're not easy to identify, but they're generally lodged in between two like room areas. Here we go, we got some hoppers. We'll kill these hoppers real quick. We'll keep going. Who needs a ambulance when I've got all the hurt you need right here? Let's see. What are we going to get in this room up here? An hourglass. What does that do? Um, maybe it stops time. It's a space item, so let's see what happens. Okay, now that we've got that sorted, we know where everything is. We've been to every room. Let's go ahead and drop a bomb here. Secret room. Oh. I can use my pennies on this machine, but I think I'm going to save it, just in case I run into a good item at the item shop. Not that I can buy anything on this floor, but that won't stop me from buying anything on the next floor. So onward for great justice, as total halibut would say. Five cents. I don't even know why I bothered to use that key there, I could have saved that key. Well, this game's all about making mistakes and doing stupid stuff, so let's go fight, let's go fight the first boss. Already 9 minutes and 32 uh, seconds into this video, and I've died once and had to restart once. Ooh, this guy's pretty easy. This is the Duke of Flies. All he does is he floats around and he spits out flies. Nothing too special. We'll just kill the flies as they come at us. Come at me, bro. Oh, maybe this is a bit harder than what I thought. Uh, let's kill these flies. And, here we go. Can't hit the broadside of a barn with these tears. Maybe it's because of the lack of range. I don't know. Maybe I didn't have range to begin with. I didn't check. I probably should have checked that before I did anything. Die, fly. 
Okay. Let's continue beating on this guy. These flies are an effective shield. By far the easiest boss, but right now it's very time consuming because I don't have any real power ups. What do you say we use our space bar item? It has a recharge time. I think you get two of those little blocks up there. Every room, unless you get a special item called a battery. And I saw that somewhere. I haven't really seen one myself. If I did, that'd be something I'd look for. And that's another beautiful thing about this game, is that it changes every time you play. You'll never have the same items twice, or at least the same setup. You could get really boned. Really could. And I've, I know I've done it. The first time I played this game, I made it all the way... I made it, I made it pretty damn far. I mean... Oh, no, 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 don't hit me. Okay. Oh, stupid damage. Here we go. He's almost dead. You would think this is the world's longest boss fight, but again, no power-ups, this is what happens. You want to understand there's also a Christmas boss for all these Steam Achievement peoples. His name is Krampus. You can get a gift from Krampus, which is a lump of coal, which is something I read somewhere. Uh, I don't know exactly what it does, but you get a lump of coal. I don't know if they're going to use it for the great gift pile or what. Oh my gosh, he's just spitting these flies out. I need to get... This guy needs to die. All I'm doing is shooting flies. There we go. Got some damage on him. There we go. Now we have to just kill the flies. Drop two hearts. Definitely going to come in handy. Whoa. Here we go. Last fly. And I get speed up. So I lose range, but I gain speed. Okay, the only reason I know that is I've gotten that item before. Look at him. See, your character also changes. He's got a little belt on. How cute is that? Okay. Onward into the next level. The Basement 2. Let's go ahead and watch this. Mom gives him a gift. You get a wig. And you're laughed at. Thanks, Mom. Thank you so much. What's in this room? Oh, Tar Babies. What are these? I'm going to just call them Tar Babies. I don't know their exact names. I don't care. This is a champion one. Luckily... He only shoots diagonally, so that's going to work in our favor, because this is a dual-stick shooter, and I really should buy a controller to do these dual-stick shooters, just for the fact that I'll have two sticks. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see, let's try these out. Still no keys. Immediately at the boss room. Which will do me absolutely no good. I can go ahead and take out the boss if I wanted. It wouldn't hurt nothing. But I'm going to go ahead and explore first. That would be the wisest thing to do. See, I've got five cents to my name. No keys. One bomb. Let's see if we can fix that. Whoa. Troll bomb. Another troll bomb. I'm going to go ahead and get these cleared out. See if we get a special item. Nope, nothing. We'll go over here. Lots of flies today. See, this is the type of stuff, if it's going to be flies all the way around, which I seriously doubt. We already had tar babies and hoppers. There we go, finally got a key. We're going to use it very wisely this time. I'm going to pay attention, I promise. Here we go. Oh, these guys shoot up and down, left and right. And I could potentially take a lot of damage from this fight. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, just like that. Stupid damage, and I stepped in the fire. There we go. Down to one. There we go. We'll just use our... Oh, that works. Ooh, here we go. What is this? The chariot. I'm gonna save that. I know what it does. It makes you invulnerable for a short period of time. It's rather nice. It doubles as a spacebar item. Single use only, so I'm gonna save it for when I absolutely have to have it, or until I get a better item. Kill these little worms. No real point in going in to kill that poo. So onward we go. There we go. More headless hoppers. Destroyed the poo before I destroyed any hoppers. How about that? And let me think here. So I've been enjoying my Christmas break off. It has been rather interesting. I had my sister move in. And I, I haven't spent enough time with my nieces and nephews, so it's really nice to have family around, especially for the holidays. 
I'm sure that'll get old real quick. You know how family is. It's nicer to visit, but <laughs> you just want them to go home. Go bomb. Okay. There we go. Now we're going to work on this guy. Oh, come on. Alright, we're going to... There we go. Brought you out of hiding. Oh, this guy exploded into flies instead of bombs. There we go. More bombs. One key, more bombs. Well, since we got all these extra bombs, why don't we go ahead and open up the secret room? I hope it is right here. No. That means it's wedged over here. Let's go ahead and check that out. Oh, I forgot to turn that off. There we go. Got a penny out of that one. And we got... Ooh, this guy seems to be a little bit faster. Let's see, we get this guy out of the way first. The other guys are easy to deal with because they just run away. There we go. These deformed heads. I wonder if these are mom's extra children. Why would they be keeping these things in their basement? You ever wonder that? Well, if you've never played the game, you probably have never wondered that at all. But for those of you who did, you're probably going to comment like hell. And... Nothing. So, two bombs. Oh, wait. This is what I wanted to do. I need to check for the secret room. Drop a bomb there. Nothing. Down to one bomb and one key. Alright, we've got six cents. Maybe able to buy something at the item shop. Let's go check that out. Oh. Oh, boy. Here's the dilemma. I should probably collect this. And there was another heart item over here, so I'm going to go ahead and get it. Sorry for backtracking, but this is what happens when you talk and play at the same time. We're going to go back down and over to the right. And what was it? Yeah, it's another half heart. That'll keep us alive for at least two hits on some max damage thing. We're going to go ahead and go to the item room, which is a little crown on the mini-map in the upper left-hand corner if you're looking. Here we go. Maybe this will give us something nice. Well then. Why not? We'll go ahead and get the My Little Unicorn. And what that does, it doubles as, like, the chariot, which means I can dump this. Oh, it's this guy. Alright. Which version is he? Oh, it's a clean room. Alright. Oh, that was dumb. Oh, it's already taking damage, because he's dropping poop everywhere. Poop all over the place. This would be a good time to use this. There. Okay, radioactive spider. I'm okay with that. And we get a pentagram. Okay for a pentagram. What do we got? Damage up. We'll do more damage. I'm okay with more damage. Full rack of life. And on to the caves we go. Oh, it's such a sad game. It really is. I got little hordes. How about that? Okay, onward. Enough being cute. Oh, meat guys. Let's see how many hot hits it takes to destroy those guys. Two. Oh, stupid damage. There we go. This is not an exactly an ideal room to fight these guys. But we did it anyway. Oop. Oh, gosh. What are these? I don't think... Oh, these... Oh, wow. These guys split into multiple flies. Alright. Down to no keys. One bomb. We could potentially waste a bomb on this room get that treasure chest and get more bombs or it could be a complete bust so we're going to wait and whoa what are these guys they're red i mean is this is their skin removed what is going on they turned into a pile of mush oh and they come back okay so maybe ah you can hit them all the way down that's good see i this would be a good trade right here so we're going to go ahead and open this up as I'll get the bomb back, and then we'll find out what's in the chest. Pills here. Pretty fly. Okay, so I've got what appears to be kind of like a halo of flies, except it's one fly. Okay, so we've got stuff that spits back everywhere. Let's see here. We're going to go ahead. There we go. We've got that guy taken care of. Then we're going to go over here and try to take care of this guy. Well, maybe not. We're going to take care of this appears to be a blood worm. We're going to call him a leech. We're going to call him a leech. Because, well, no, leeches suck blood. Why would we call him a leech? Um, screw it. He's a leech. 
And we got this pile of meat that's just spitting blood everywhere. There we go, got him. And then we're gonna go over here and kill this last bug. He shoot out at his butt. That's actually kind of funny. There we go. Got an extra bomb. Boss room's just below us. Let's go up here. Kill these floating things. And onward. Oop, ow. Okay. Here we go. And this is a quite a quite a long run. We're approaching 20 minutes now. Right now, should be an easy render. I'll get this done tonight. Get it uploaded. This is also a good trade. So we're going to go ahead and use one of our bombs. Blow it over. We'll grab a bomb and a key. So now we're even on bombs and we have a key to mess around with. Let's continue exploring. I could drop a bomb there and it could potentially give me a spirit heart. Right here. What do you think? Let's do it. I'll bring it back down to one bomb, which means ah, spirit heart and a return on a bomb. I am okay with that, so we didn't waste anything, and we gained a spirit heart. Okay, let's go up. Um, I could use my key on that, or that door. We'll come back to that. That takes us to the item shop. Let's see if we can collect some more keys and bombs. There we go. This is the starting room. We're going to come back here, and what do we got? What are those? Well, they drop those weird leech things. Oh, and they come after you. There we go. The thing that flies there to protect us. And we got a little bit extra speed, so we can actually back out of it pretty quickly. <coughs> More double flies. Oh. Oh, they are all over me. Get off me. Alright. Definitely going to use one of the keys for this room to find out what we get. This is better pills. Okay. Whatever that does, we're going to go ahead and go into this room right here. This is a mob trap room. I could blow a key on that and potentially get some good stuff. It could be a bunch of hearts. I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, skeleton key. That was worth it. That gives me 99 keys, which means I can open any door from now on. I am okay with that. Let's go ahead and defeat these blood leeches or whatever the hell they are. Leech spitters, maybe. Yeah, maybe we'll just call them leech spitters. Whoa. Whoa. Picked up a new trick. Let's see here. Still got three bombs. I could potentially take them all out right now, but I'm going to cry him to death. Oh, easy fight, easy fight. So far, I've stayed talking constantly. 20 minutes. 23 minutes as of night now. Oh, we got a sh we got a spit fly down there. I'm just gonna call those guys spit flies. There we go, and then we're gonna take care of this guy. There we go. Boom. Oh, what are these? Oh my God. What are those? Like little skulls with entrails. Oh, I'm taking damage on this one. There we go. Okay, trick him into coming up. We'll do that. Well, we got another bomb out of it. I'm okay with that. So we got all the keys in the world, so I don't have to worry about wasting keys anymore. We got six cents to our name. Four bombs. I think we're doing pretty good. We got some decent damage up. And some champion. What are these? Are these maggots? We're going to call these guys maggots. That's what we're going to call them. That's what they look like. Little worms with no faces. Certainly not earthworms. Well, they might be. They are in the caves. Let's see, we got a heart out of that. Definitely gonna pick that up. More pills. Let's pick that up real quick. And let's go ahead and use our speed up pill. The world. I think that reveals the map. I'm not sure. But we're gonna find out. That wasn't easy. Don't really need the key, so we're going to leave it there. Well, actually, we're going to come back through here, and with any luck, the secret room will be wedged right there. Yes. 
with three cents to our name puts us at nine, we could potentially get something that is on sale. And I mean that is the most an item would cost is 15 cents, but if it is on sale, um, we're going to go ahead and open this bad boy up. Because we've got the bombs to use on it. There we go. More pills. Range up. That'll make up for that. Pick up our world card again. We'll use it on the next floor. If I survive the boss. Again. We're going to go over here real quick. What do we got? Another tarot card. You could use a spirit heart. A compass. For 15. Uh, we'll take the spirit heart. That's the most valuable thing in here. And then. We're going to come over here. There we go. What's this? The devil. What does the devil do? Well, what's more valuable? Because it's only one use only. I think knowing where the items are, because we're still pretty light on items at the moment, we'll leave the devil behind. Alright, so to the boss. Who are we killing this time? Fistula. Hey, that looks kind of like those things with the maggots. We got one bomb left, not going to use it. I could do this. There we go. Oh, I'm not sure if that helped or made it worse. Taking damage here. Weird meat balls. Oof. I'm not exactly sure what the range up is going to do for me. There we go. That's the end of Fistula. Let's get rid of these weird little worms out of the way and HP up. And we could go make a deal with the devil. What do you say we go do that? Oh, wait. Maybe not. Oh, and it's gone. I went through the wrong door. Cage 2. What is this? Is it a pile of poop? Oh. He was real twisted. All right. Onward. And no fear of wasting any keys anymore. Down to one bomb, so we need to be a little frugal on that. And these guys looks like they could be hurt. Even though they're not don't have a skull on their head, so I'm okay with that. F these guys. Approaching the 30 minute mark on this playthrough. All I can do is sit here and just shoot. Give me my penny. Get off me. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to die to this, am I? Stop. Oh my gosh. Down to half a heart. That is lame. But I got it back. I'm okay with that. Let's move on. To the left we have... Barrels of TNT. That'll allow me to get these, maybe. Yes. Okay. And we'll blow this up with those. Why waste bombs when those are... <laughs> conveniently place where I need them. <coughs> and then we got these leech blood squirter thingies. Ooh, almost took a hit there. Did you see that? I think that fly absorbed the damage. Maybe. I don't know. This game works in mysterious ways. Spirit heart definitely valuable at the moment. Uh, oh. Use the world. Find out how big this level is. Wow. That's pretty big level. Okay. That means we can technically go around and find everything. We're going to go up. No, don't hit me. Ugh. Okay. A pile of meat. But we're going to beat him back down again. We're going to take care of this guy. The water down his meat. That sounds dirty, doesn't it? Oh, and I sat there. I was too busy talking and trying to make a joke. All right. Luminary, don't be funny while doing this. Here we go. What do we get? Nothing? Nothing. Still got one bomb. I'm gonna save it. Well, it shows me where the secret room is. I don't have to guess. So, we will come back to that. There's still plenty to explore. More fistula pieces. One hit could do me in. And there it is. Alright. If you guys like this, maybe I'll do some more tomorrow because this was absolutely fun. And let me know how the quality is. Again, I'm using an external program for recording my audio while I do this, considering the binding of Isaac cannot be perhaps at all. Okay. I'm Luminary, and I'll see you next time.